I've been to Austin. I spoke with the representatives there. I've testified in front of the committees. Representative Simpton's bill, 2165. I was there until 1.30 in the morning testifying in open committee. After which Representative Simpson not only escorted me to his office to comfort me and give me a place to rest, he also gave me money to get a motel room so I wouldn't have to drive the six hours back home. It's that simple. My seven and eight year old daughters, they don't have a dad. My beautiful wife is going to nursing school to get ready to take care of our kids when I die. Not because she wanted to be a worker, because she has no choice. This is what we live with. This is why it's so important to me. 22 veterans a day are killing themselves. And if this could help them, and I think it has, give them some relief and from paranoia and other things, I think that is a good thing. Everything that young people need to be doing to become a productive member of society can be derailed by a small drug conviction. It is a medicine. People need medicine to live. You know, in my opinion, I don't think they really want a cure for cancer because I feel like if they keep us sick, then they can keep making money off of it. Texas, you know, is the most, the most important state for reforming these laws. We've got to do it here, and we've got to, it's, it's got to be all of us, we've got to get involved to the point where we're going to make this, we're going to make this change. I mean, this is a plant, it's very important. It's a very important plant to humankind. People are coming together because a lot of the issues that we're confronted with now come down to human rights. They come down to due process, constitutionality, and it's something that we are able to bring people together on. It is bad law. What do you do about bad law? Change. 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 Yeah. And that's what we have to do. We've got to do that. We have too many, and it is, it is a crime that my son had to leave Texas to go to California to be able to use the medicine that helps him. So what is activism? Activism means showing up and getting involved, finding a place where you're welcome, and if not, starting a place to be welcome, and finding that person to join you and get involved with you. Somebody who believes in you and your mission, like I have. I have a group of people who believe in me and our mission here to reform the laws in the state of Texas, and it's because of this belief, these people who get together and believe in each other and work together, that we are going to end the prohibition of marijuana in the state of Texas. So that's what's really unique about he us here in Texas is it's a certain amount of civil disobedience that's going on, but really it's not so much civil disobedience as just getting together and being empowered and, and being with like-minded individuals who don't believe that you should be put in a cage for using this plant. What do you want to know? Okay, so why am, I, why am I doing this? Yeah, tell me about why you're doing this. Uh, me personally, it's for the medical. Um, I've got a son with a terminal illness. It's called Neiman Pick Type C. Neiman Pick, there's about 500 kids in the world that have this. And with that disease, there are intractable epilepsy, there's cataplexy, he's forgotten to swallow, he can't eat, everything has got to go through his cheek button. Anyway, he has um, upwards of 30 seizures a day. You know, and we took a little trip to Colorado. We tried some, some stuff, and his seizures went from 30 down to zero within five days. I've been prescribed over 50 medications since I was diagnosed. 50 different prescriptions. And the amount of money they've made off of me is over $500,000. Um, so it, it pisses me off. I mean, yeah, they're definitely getting richer by keeping it in prohibition. They don't they don't want us to smoke a plant that's natural that doesn't have to be processed because they're not gonna make as much money off of it. It's all about money, all of it. What do we have? Like maybe 25, 50 people here tonight. At most we'll have about a hundred. Well our rallies, we have thousands. So three, four, five thousand people could show up to one of our rallies. And that right there is one of the biggest, best things that we can do as a culture is come out publicly. It's almost that time, isn't it, Fort Worth, Texas? Get ready guys. Look, they're getting ready for us. We're cutting we're shutting down the streets. 
This thing's about to happen, guys. To kick this thing off right, I would like to introduce one of the most tremendous marijuana activists in the state of Texas. Come on. This man inspires me to inspire you, to inspire everyone you know. Please welcome Vincent Lopez of Texas Normal. Vincent Lopez! It is of vital importance that we all come together in mass and show our faces, our numbers, our tremendous sense of compassion, and bring it into full view. Let us be mindful of the enduring presence we have made throughout this eventful time in our state's history, and continue to keep this massive momentum moving forward. There is no better moderator of our own bodies than ourselves. And if there is an answer in cannabis, then I shall not stay silent for how I choose to alleviate the pains and symptoms of my own body is solely and completely up to me. It's up to us to plant the seed of not just thought, but the seed of reality and responsibility. It's up to us to make our ten Texas lawmakers understand that they can alleviate the suffering of many Texans. We shall always remember that incarceration can come in many different forms. Incarceration can come by means of a chronic debilitating condition, by means of fear, anxiety, abuse, war, by means of an addiction to prescription medications. Incarceration can come in the form of jail, sometimes not just for a violent offense, but for speaking out against injustice and oppression. The act of incarceration has been going on for age upon age, since the dawn of time, since even biblical time. How do you do me, Texas? Texas, this is a monumental day, the fact that we can come out together and be doing this, and, and, and be safe, and be respectful, and be passionate. Cannabis consumers, enthusiasts, law reformers, and we're working in tandem with the city. We're working with conservative Fort Worth. We're working with the Fort Worth Police Department. And we're in Texas where marijuana is completely illegal. Who's confused yet? Imagine a policy that criminalizes so many innocent people. All of a sudden, we could just change that. Wouldn't that be great for this state? Yes. Hell yeah! Wouldn't it be great to put fewer people into cages for non-violent crimes? We are denying our most in need, our sickest patients in this state, a plant that could save their lives. Here, I've been battling stage three aggressive, invasive breast cancer. My doctor says I likely had it for eight to 10 years. That means that I got cancer in my breast when I was 20 years old. It's, it's young, isn't it? It's crazy, but it can happen to anybody. I went through nine months of chemotherapy. I was sicker than a dog, but the only thing that helped me get through it was cannabis. We hear a lot about medical. We hear a lot about the law. We hear a lot about bills and everything like that. And I'm going to tell you right now, we are closer now than we have ever been to the relaxation of marijuana laws in Texas. Medical, hell yes. Let's get that in there because it's a little more urgent. But you know what? How much is freedom worth? How much is dignity worth? I defend people all the time and I can't tell you the people that come in my office and they now have a criminal record. That's 35 years old for God's sakes. And it's because they were caught with two grams of marijuana. I keep making the trips to Austin, and I keep talking to the legislators, going to their office, making them sit down and hear my story, letting them feel the fistula in my arm, feel the blood flow from my heart, and letting them know how fragile that is. I don't know how long I'm gonna last. Maybe I will see legalization, maybe I won't. But I believe with all my heart that my children will. 
and the benefits that I can't receive from pharmaceutical remedies, they will be able to receive from cannabis. Responsible use of cannabis is coming to Texas. Well, how do you do me, DFW Normal? Is everybody awake? Good morning. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. This is going to be a historic day, I believe, where not only are we participating in this wonderful Citizen Lobby Day by sending a bus full of North Texans to the Capitol, but so are our friends in Houston and other parts of the state. So we are literally expecting hundreds of marijuana advocates at the Capitol today to have what I hope to be thousands of marijuana conversations not only with our representatives, but also with the state troopers who provide security at the Capitol and people who are just there as tourists who have no idea why all these marijuana advocates are walking around. Uh, remember that we are representing not only ourselves and our organization, but our movement and our culture. So let's do our best to put our best foot forward. Let's try to be polite and respectful. If we have questions, don't hesitate to ask them, but let's not just wander aimlessly. Let's be very, very focused. And if you're not sure where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do, come find me or come find somebody who looks like they may know what's going on. And I promise you we'll get it figured out. So does anybody have any questions right now before we take off? No questions. Nobody's asking where to weed at. Hmm. Nobody? Citizen Lobby Day. <laughs> So do you yeah, think so, faster that way? Well, either way. I mean, because you still have to get to the other side of the, the building. Right. Okay. So yeah, just uh, once you get to the other side at the light, it's get cross over and it's going to be that big building right there. Okay. Thanks for coming, guys. Well, hello. Hey, Sean. How are you? So good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for bringing us. Yeah, yeah. Brought a posse with me from Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> got to do this upright. Yep. Would you we got fix my color? I just noticed that it is jacked up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we got a full room in there. Excellent. How many people you think were there already? You know, maybe a hundred. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people. Excellent. Good, good. Well, we've done something good here today, hey, people. Hey, Karen Howard. Okay, so I want to give you all the rundown as team leaders. Since all three of y'all are here, I'll just give you all, okay, that's uneven and not working. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I'll start with Sean's as an example. Okay. So Sean, inside, you'll find a sheet that says number 10. You'll hold up number 10. Everyone from that Senate district will come and find you. Team leader for Team 10, which is means I'm the leader for District 10, and so everybody in this district is going to come with me, and we've got some pre-arranged meetings, uh, a route that we're going to follow, a map with all of our rooms highlighted that we're going to visit, and we're going to, like I said, break into teams and hit each one of our districts, each one of our representatives and state senator, and uh, try to change their minds about medical marijuana. You're, it's easy to find a bunch of marijuana fans in Texas, yeah. but it's harder to find the ones who are actually going to come out and to the capital. And that's what I mean. And you know, I've never lived in the state before where you can't petition either. The right to referendum. Most Texans yeah. don't even know we don't have that. The right to referendum means that the citizens have the right to petition their government, uh, you know, put some things on paper, get a whole bunch of signatures and bring it to their legislature. We don't have that in the state of Texas. So all changes in law have to pass through what we call the good old boys club, otherwise known in the Texas le legislature. Excuse me. <laughs> Our first meeting is with Tony Tenderhold at one o'clock. Anybody here patient? Patient of what? Medical patient. Yeah. Okay, so great, great. All right, so you're definitely coming. Oh, and military. Oh, you're mm -hmm. definitely coming in because yes. he's a veteran too. Okay, so what we want to do is have three, four, five of us at the most come in. Okay, and the rest we're all going to go in and sign the book after the fact. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Jason, you're going to come in, right? Okay. All right, cool. Well, so everybody's well able to come in and sign the little sheet right up here. Okay. Should we wait till you come out? After you come back out. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we could do that after we come back out. Yeah, and so, what? No, don't bring the camera in. Yeah, and actually, will you turn my mic off yeah. here? Thanks.
the things that matter to Texans, the things that should matter when it comes to setting policy. And I would like to say that if if marijuana was never made illegal to begin with, we wouldn't be having these conversations, we wouldn't be arresting so many people, we wouldn't be trying to uh, change the fabric of what makes this country great by, by questioning things and questioning uh, the, the status quo. And by saying that uh, this is a plant that we can no longer use, that we just can't have, I think that we were limiting the discussion, the possibility for people. And if there's not a good reason for us to continue to maintain the prohibition of marijuana, then I would like you to consider this bill as your opportunity to, to truly, truly change people's lives here in Texas. Uh, because this is your opportunity to vote to make this go away, to make this go away and make Texas a freer place for us all. And if we're not actually keeping people safer with legislation, with laws, then I think that, as Ann Lee said earlier, they're bad laws and they should be reformed. And I think that this is the opportunity for every one of you to have the courage to stand with Representative Simpson and be proud and, and be supportive of our Texas patients and especially our veterans and the people who need this medicine most. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Uh, members, are there any questions of our panel? No. Thank you.